Should I like fix my window or is this fine? I think it's kind of giving this is an okay setup. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a minute, y'all. But it's okay because I'm gonna spill all of the tea for you. I'm gonna do like a get ready with me chit chat kind of video. It's 12.35 p.m. and I have class at 2.20. Get ready for class. This is something like I don't really do. And I'm gonna give you guys some life updates. I also have gotten like some new makeup products as well. So I'm gonna share those with you guys today because if you've been like watching me for a while, then you know that I, I've i literally used the same makeup product since like high school and now I finally changed. This pimple, like should I? Is this even a pimple? I might go to the dermatologist. Okay, so I'm gonna do my eyebrows first. And I started this new method for my eyebrows. I've been doing them a lot more like natural and stuff. So I use the got to be ultra glue and just a little spoolie. I'm gonna take some product and kind of just like distribute it almost fully brush my eyebrows up but you guys i think it's 29 days till graduation that's literally insane like i'm graduating from college that doesn't even sound right so i already did like my grad photos and i might like pop some here i actually meant to film a like get ready with me for my graduation picture it was just such a hectic day that day i don't remember why i think my grad shoot was scheduled right after my class so it was just a very hectic day and i could not film it oh my makeup wasn't looking good i did not like my makeup the lashes weren't staying on zoe wasn't here so i couldn't zip up my dress um yeah but i did want to do like just another video maybe i'll do it tomorrow just doing again how I did my graduation makeup for any one of you guys who need like a graduation look but I'm going in with my milk hydro grip primer and I love this primer I'm kind of thinking about going back to the Tatcha primer because I used to use that one a lot but I love how hydrating this one is at the same time so I might just get another one I just put this all over my face so yeah I'm graduating from the University of Georgia with a, I don't even know what like my degree is called. But I'm getting a bachelor's degree in health promotion with an emphasis in behavioral medicine from the College of Public Health. Love that for myself. And if you don't know, I'm gonna be attending medical school. I, um, I haven't really done an update. I should probably do an update too. It's just been a long couple of months. Yeah, if you watched like my medical school video, there isn't, no, there might be an update or two like me getting denied from some of the schools. But other than that, like that's been my update for this process. I'm still really, really hoping I get into Morehouse, but it's, um, it's April 13th. So my time is kind of dwindling down. I've been doing my makeup a lot more natural these days, which I love because like, I just, I wasn't doing that for a very long time. So I'm going in, my belly piercing, I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer HD Definition. It's not focusing, but this is what it looks like. I think this is in, this is in Toffee, and my old shade, my old, old shade was in Suede. I don't know, I do like this one a little bit better. I thought this one was like a little bit too orange toned. So I do like this one a little bit better and all that I do I just put it I can't even see that like it matches well Um, I just kind of put it in threes under my eyes. Does that make sense? I don't know and then I'm gonna put some on my smile lines some on my chin and like on these Pimples over here and then I'm going in with my born this way multi-use sculpting concealer This is in light beige and I'm kind of gonna Put it in between those gaps, around my chin, on my nose, and a little on my forehead, like that. I don't know why I started doing my makeup like this. I just really like the way that it blends out together. So yeah, that's why. But why I've been super busy, y'all, is if you don't know, I'm in a sorority. It is I of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. And we just brought in our spring 23 line um, critical point. So that's really where I've been these past two months doing my sorority stuff, my my duty, my duty. And that was just a really rewarding process. Um, I love all of my neos. Like, those are my children. Those are literally my children. Super proud of them. Um, two of my best friends are on the line as well. So it was a very nice and rewarding process and it takes up a lot of time and you know just doing intake and still I'm, I'm still working still a student there is just a lot going on and so sometimes when it comes to filming it's just it's really hard to fit all of that in your day when you're already tired from a long day and you know I would have things filmed too 
it would be more so you know finding the time to edit it because i can't do that like during my intake process like when i'm there um i can do it a little bit at work but don't forget i still have class so it's just a lot and i'm really glad things are starting to wind down for me so now i have like more time to do things that i really want to do so now i'm going in with my laura mercier translucent medium deep powder and i don't know why i started doing this either um just came up with the idea and i really liked it and that is just taking because this is a darker powder so i really just like to go in with this one and just set all of the areas in my i look a little crazy right now but i'm not gonna look crazy later um i just like to go in with this and like just set where i put all of that concealer and i just feel like it helps tie in all the colors together before i go in and bake because i'm still gonna bake I'm just not gonna bake with this shade because when I bake with this shade, it leaves a really weird cast. So I swear that's gonna get fixed because right now it's bothering me, but it's gonna get fixed. But sometimes it just leaves a really weird cast on my face. So that's why I don't like to bake with it. But now I'm gonna go in with my Benefit Precise Brow Pencil now that my eyebrows are dry. But yeah, that's kind of like the school update. Um, so far, I have all A's in my coursework. So it's looking like another 4.0 season. <laughs> and honestly, this will be my third 4.0 in a semester in a row. And it will be my fourth college 4.0. Proud of myself for that. I realized that the other day. I was like, oh, shit. Okay, I kind of did that. I kind of did that. Um, Filling in my eyebrows i just i don't know i really just do the bottom of my brow i don't touch the top of my brows too much because i don't know i just prefer it in its natural state and then i just lightly fill in the front of my brows like because i like my brow to start like over here but my brow hairs don't grow there so i have to make it look very natural and then i fill in the tail because this tail on this side is pretty sparser than that tail I don't really think they're even, but it's the same. Eyebrows are sisters, not twins. And I'm, I'm going for the natural look. I've been doing the natural eyebrow look a lot more. Y'all know I used to go in heavy with that pomade. I cringe every time. Okay, so after that, I am, I'm not the best adult. Like, I don't know where my money goes. When I see shit on the floor, I don't pick it up. And I remember my mom would tell me to pick stuff up. You're gonna forget. I don't know why. I don't listen to her, whatever. So now I'm going in with the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, Coco, and I've been using this concealer to contour my face. And I remember, like, I would not remember. I did get this from seeing people use it on TikTok and stuff, and I've really been vibing with cream products lately. I just think the finish of cream products are a lot nicer than just going in with the powder. So I really just carve out. This is why I wear a scarf, because I don't want to get makeup in my hair. But we digress. I just carve out where I, where I typically contour. And then I go down my nose. I like to like blend it into my brow bone. I feel like I look insane. Um, <laughs> so I like to blend it out with the bottom part of my beauty blender. Okay. Just blend, 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 blend. So yeah, that's been life. So next week will be very exciting. I'm a blog vlog it for sure. But I'm going to Italy for my cousin's wedding, and I'm so excited. Um. I've been to Italy before. I went after I graduated in high school. So it's kind of like, ooh, full circle moment because I'm going back to the same places that I've already been, which is fine. Like, I'm very thankful. It's such a great place and I know like that's not available. Like, not a lot of people do that, especially like a lot of black people have the opportunity to travel. So, like I said, fuck, I fucked up my makeup today, y'all. I was trying too hard to impress you guys and shit. This is a lot. <laughs> we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. I'm gonna pretend that I have somewhere like really important to be. We're not gonna do this. We're not gonna redo it. But yeah, so my cousin is getting married in Florence in two weeks. Yeah, I guess two weeks. Cause it's on the 23rd, the 24th, I think. So I'm going, it's Thursday now, and I'm going to Italy on Tuesday with my mom, my brother, and like our other family friends, like my aunt and her nephew, my cousin. And it's literally gonna be like a really big family trip and I'm so excited for that. Just imagine like Johnson family vacation, but black, well they are black people, but like Euro European style. That's what I'm getting from this trip. 
all of my aunts my uncles they're going all of my little cousins are going so it's just very very exciting very exciting that our whole family is able to do something like this and i just think it's gonna be so fun this will be my mom's because like i said i've been to europe before um i've been to europe twice actually but my mom and my brother have never been to europe so this will be their first time in europe and like their first time going to italy so i'm just so happy that we're all going and it's just gonna be such a great trip um oh my gosh i have to ask my mom if we got our hotel yet because i would hate to go to italy and we don't have anywhere to stay that would be awful we would have somewhere to stay but it was essentially like i said my cousin she's getting married in italy and on that side of the family is her okay she's my cousin so her dad is my great uncle my grandfather's brother and my grandfather has like 13 siblings so pretty much all of the like living siblings um will be there and everybody kids and it's gonna be great it's gonna be great my uncle got like all the siblings villa so that's why i'm like if we don't have anywhere to stay i'm sure we'll just have to stay with my grandfather but it's gonna be very 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 fun i'm excited so okay so after like blending it out you see i have some like darkness back in my face to even everything out um mm, i'm like do i want to go in with concealer this is already kind of dark but I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Bronzer. This is in Coco Naughty. I'm just gonna go over like where I put Too Faced, my contour. Let's go over it a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Just to set, set the contour in place. I'm also gonna take a brush, just a regular blending brush. And I am going, oh, I so lied. But I'll just finish blending that in a little bit since I had it on there. So I don't know what also made me think of those, y'all. But um, but I'm gonna be taking my Laura Mercier powder again. And what I've been doing lately is taking like my just regular blending brush and. I don't know, I've kind of just been using it as eyeshadow a little bit. I don't know why I like this, but I like it and I feel like I really like it because for some reason I have oily eyelids and this kind of helps mattify my eyelid for one. And it just serves as a really good base for the for whatever else I put on my eye. So I just do that really quickly. Now I'm going in with my bronzer, buffing that in. Um, I haven't started packing for Italy, so that's an issue that I really need to resolve very quickly. I haven't ordered my euros, I need to order my euros. And I need to wash my clothes, get my room together. I told y'all, like, I'm, I'm really bad at adulting. It's, it's not my thing. So now I'm going to be going in with my regular Laura Mercier translucent powder. I um, love this powder and I'm going to bake my face. I made this, like made this routine like this. I just did it one day and then I didn't stop. And I just lightly bake my face too. I feel like because this is a lighter powder, it helps accentuate some of that concealer that I had placed. Like it just brightened me back up a little bit, which I kind of need after starting my face up real bad with that concealer. This powder doesn't taste good either. And then, then even then, I'm gonna take a different little beauty blender or a different little makeup tool. But I'm going to clean up my contour. I'm gonna place some on the sides of my nose. I put some on the bridge. And that basically completes the face makeup. Here's a real shocker. I've been using, I went back to mascara. I have not used mascara since high school and that's because I found out that like false lashes existed. Well no, that's because I found out that lash extensions existed and I was getting used to falsies. I think I saw a TikTok once again, someone using mascara and I was like, hmm, maybe they're right. Maybe I am in my soft girl lifestyle right now and I need to go back to mascara. And completely wrong. Don't get me wrong. If I had more money in my bank account, I would get some lash extensions, but mascara isn't all that bad. Like I'm surviving. It's doable for an everyday look. I will say lash extensions did ruin my lashes because I used to have really, really, really nice lashes. Long and curly and thick. And now my lashes, they kind of just go like straight instead of even curling too. So that's kind of been like dang. But I might get an eyelash curler and see if that helps. Yeah. Other than that, I just feel like my eye is watering. 
Other than that, I feel like I've kind of been sleeping on mascara. I forgot that it was a thing. It's not that bad. This eye is the better eye. Like, lashes are better. Can you guys even see my lashes from here? I don't know. I hope you can. They exist. The mascara is on. And now I'm just gonna go in with my blush. I haven't changed my blush. Uh, I probably need to get a new blush. I want to, actually. But this is still the Milk Lip Cheek, and this is in Rally. This weekend is gonna be very exciting. I'm gonna vlog this weekend. It's G Day, my last G Day as an undergrad. Um, G Day, I think I have a G Day vlog. Uh, probably not, actually. <laughs> G Day is Georgia's spring game, because I go to the University of Georgia. So if it, it's their spring game. And it's typically like a really big event here at UGA, like if you're a student, because A, or really if you're just a Georgia fan, because A, it gets like the fans very excited for the season, because you know, we haven't had football, college football at least since what, January? And you know, you have players to declare for the draft. So this is the first time you might see some new players um, on the field and seeing what their impact could be for this upcoming season. Like I think this game, we're gonna find out like who, who may be the starting quarterback for next season because what was that man's name? Stetson, I think he declared. So I feel like my base turned out kind of cute, kind of. Face is kind of giving. My eye is still watering. Don't do that. Don't do that. Highlight, and I still use Opal by Becca Cosmetics. And yeah, so there's typically UGA, UGA, and then you have Black UGA. Black UGA is known as Bugga. So Bugga typically does a tailgate, a cookout every year for G Day. Why is my camera doing this? I have four minutes left on here. That's awful. Um, but yeah, Bugga typically has a cookout for G-Day and you will have alumni coming back, everyone's coming back. That's why it's also just so fun because everybody comes back and everybody gets really lit for G-Day. Now typically, typically I might go in with like the brown lip liner and put gloss on it, but I'm not really feeling brown today, so I'm gonna use this other Nick lip liner. This is in Magic Maker. Um, that's why, that's why everyone loves G-Day. And everyone, like, the bras will make chicken. Yeah, like, Sigmas make their catfish. It's just very fun. And there's typically a week-long events of G-Day, but as progression, like, I don't know, as the years have gone by at UGA, it's becoming a little bit less party-ish, so, which is fine, you know, scholarship. But this year there wasn't a week long of events and I was kind of disappointed because that's what I love G-Day the most is basically like homecoming, but a smaller version of homecoming. I don't know where my gloss, no, my gloss is in my purse and I just didn't feel like getting it. So this is just really, really old Fenty gloss that I'm putting on top. Like this thing is out. So I'm actually gonna go in with this Kylie gloss and high gloss. This is her high gloss and daddy's girl. This is a cute lip combo actually. And I'm gonna do just one more coat of mascara because why not? Yeah, this was my final makeup look for class today. A little chit chat, get ready with me. So if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe. I'll see you next time.